Hi everyone, now we will talk about two-way binding in Angular and this two-way binding feature will help you to save lots of time when you are working with the Angular projects. How you will get to know in this part. First uh, we will understand what is two-way binding. After that we will take one input field so that we can apply two-way binding with this and then we have to import forms module in our TypeScript file. After that we will bind ng model with the input field and this ng model is very important to apply two-way binding and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to two-way binding in angular and one more thing guys so whatever thing whatever feature you can achieve with the two-way binding in angular that can be achieved with the, some different ways also but the different way will take lots of time i'll give you example so that you can compare the time uh, when the same feature you will build with the two-way binding and without two-way binding all right Okay, so now let's understand what is two-way binding. See, in Angular component, we have two most important files. First one is .ts and another one is .html and you can also say that template file. So when we are making any property in the .ts file and you want to sync the data of that property in both files, .ts and .html, the data should be same in the both file for that property that time we can say that this is a two-way binding for example so let's say you have property with name right and this name should have same data in the ts as well as in the html at the same time that time you can say that this is a two-way binding and this ng model will help us to achieve this two-way binding all right so now let's see how we can achieve this so first i'm taking one input field and let's add a placeholder there enter name we can add a placeholder and here you can see that this is completely working fine and now what I want I have one property there name so what I want so whenever I will type something this name property will update uh, here as well as this data should be visible here like this right so right now there is nothing to visible because th uh, this field have no data. So if I mention there anil, you can see that this data is there. But I want to update this data with the help of this input field. So that the data for ts and data for html should be same at the same time. Okay, so for that first of all what you need to do, you have to import one important thing which is uh, forms model. Import forms. module from angular forms then you have to register it inside the imports right then what you need to do there you have to use their ng model and how you can use first you have to put the round braces after that you have to put the square braces so this model you can say that this is the banana in a box so inner round braces you can say that banana and the outer uh, uh, square braces you can say that a box right so there you need to mention ng model all right and after that you can simply uh, put there uh, the property that you want to bind let's say i want to bind their uh, name like this now whatever we will update uh, data or value inside this input field that will be update in the name property also let me show you here you can see that name is updated there right why because name comes from here so if i'm just changing something here maybe anil siddhu you can see that same data is visible there here right so the thing is uh, here so the thing is with this ng model the data or whatever value we have in the name property is synced in the ts file as well as in the html file and this is what we uh, can say that uh, two way binding all right okay so i hope you understand that now let's try one different way to uh, bind the data in the uh, in the ts and with the html file but that is little bit a uh, uh, time taking thing so let me do one thing i'm putting their input field and then placeholder and i'm entering their enter name then i'm changing i'm taking one uh, event there input and this will call a function and the function name will be change name let me fix the spelling for change and there I'll pass their dollar event. 
now I will print their name property inside the h1 tag and let me declare this function also and inside this I'll get a value or you can say that event only and the type of this will be event because in TypeScript in Angular we use TypeScript and where we have to define the type and there let's take a const well and it will be event dot target as HTML uh, input element dot value right and then this dot name is well right and let me fix this spelling well there okay so now the same thing is achieved there if I'm just typing something there Anil Situ or Peter or anything this is working fine this is also you can see that our data is sync between the TS and HTML file but see how much effort this is taking we have to make one extra function then we need to pass event then we have to change its type then we are assigning value to this property and we are calling this function from there so we don't need to do so much things there that is sim simply can be done with the help of uh, ng model right so let me comment out over there and you'll fi find that this is still working fine right like this so this is how two-way binding can save over time thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm and gpay donation number and this is the complete playlist for angular 19 tutorial two videos are uh, live now so uh, just uh, tomorrow i will update the uh, publish the next video and each day you'll get one more video so please watch all of these videos that will definitely help you for getting job interviews and project thank you so much guys